How's everybody doing? You're watching Helgen Tech, and today we're making a really quick video, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, everyone's heard the rumors about LG, and it's just a quick video about it because LG might discontinue software support for existing phones after exiting the market. Let's get right to it. Before anything, guys, I do have a giveaway. I will put the link down below, and you can look on the top right corner. I have a port card. There is a giveaway that I'm doing for the Blue G91 phone. And if you guys want to enter it, subscribe to my channel. You guys got to get me to 100 subscribers. Um, just, just 100. I'm 70 away. You guys subscribe, like the video, comment down below, and you will be automatically entered. And as soon as I have 100 subscribers, we can get to it, and someone can have the phone right for free. And I'll ship it anywhere you guys want. Let's get right to the video. Now, according to this source, LG is expected to confirm its exit from the smartphone market in April. And a new leak says the announcement could come as soon as next next week. And that's pretty soon. Um, this article was like a day ago, so next week, sometime in early April. Um, it says the Korean company's struggles have been very public. Up to the end of 2020, it had logged 23 straight losses making quarters. 23 loss making quarters, I mean. After initially paying down reports... Playing down reports of a withdrawal from the industry, LG admitted in January that it was considering various options including sale, withdrawal, and, and downsizing of its mobile unit. Now, I'm an LG, I'm not going to say fan, but I do enjoy LG phones and I think LG doesn't get enough credit for things. And I don't think LG should leave the smartphone market and uh, it, if they do, someone should buy it out and get their ideas and make it their own and improve them. But... I think LG leaving the smartphone market is going to be um, it's going to be sad, and uh, I think we should do something about it and help out this company. I will make a bit different video about that, um, but anyway, let's continue with the article. Now, the article states that LG has had negotiations with potential buyers and had reported they failed, and the company now is now preparing to shutter the smartphone business. Leakertron reports that the company will issue a formal statement announcing exit from the smartphone industry on Monday. So, um, yeah, I'll be trying, I'll see if I can make a video Monday and see if this is true, and I'll stick around to, to find out if this is, uh, you know, if it's a rumor or not. Remaining employees will apparently be assigned to a home appliance factory in Changwon, South Korea. Yes, they do have workers, so I'm assuming they do have to do something. And hopefully they uh, can get relocated or find a better spot to, to work and, you know, still be employed. Because that's very unfortunate. Um, I'm, I don't know how many workers are in LG, but that would be very unfortunate. And then although the company had earlier promised that it will release a rollable phone this year, which is the LG rollable, which is... A really cool phone and I was hoping it would come out and here's what the phone looks like and as you guys can see I mean it's a beautiful phone and hopefully we can see it but they stopped the production not long ago so it says it's been halted so we're gonna have to see quirky phones like the rollerboard and the wing were intended to uh, reignite interest in the company's offerings and justify premium prices the problem with lg making some of these crazy crazy cool phones is that they were pretty expensive but they do go down in price pretty quick um yeah but i mean that's not the point they, they are pretty expensive i myself had an lg wing and it was just about a thousand dollars for snapdragon 765g processor phone you know it says the manufacturer also reportedly canceled plan for first half releases of other new handsets. That's far from the only disappointing news as Tron also claims that existing LG users will stop receiving new software updates. Updates, which is what, what the article is completely about. That's going to be really bad if we stop receiving updates. Not, it's not only about the updates. LG already takes the longest out of anybody to roll updates, especially like Android 11 on the LG V60 took so long just to get it. It's just so long. And that's just going to be extremely unfortunate. It's going to make our newer phones like the V60, maybe the Wing. And if they release the LG Rollable, it's just not last long if they're going to exit the market and they're going to do this. Um, also states, even though LG will likely commit to continuing OS and security support, it would just... It would be just lip service. The company is already the slowest when it comes to up. That's exactly what I said. Um, exactly. And a couple of devices have been upgraded to Android 11, which we already know. And a roadmap suggests it's in no rush to update other handsets anytime soon. 
and I do believe that as well. Um, and that's mainly what the article is about. I just wanted to bring it up. If you guys want to read it yourself, I'll drop the link down below. Quick video, and it's really unfortunate. Um, I'll make my thoughts on it eventually and uh, why we should save LG, but we can't help but make the, you know, billions of dollars. Um, but yeah, also, like I said, stick around. Uh, watch that video for the giveaway. Subscribe. It's a free phone, guys. It's not the best phone on the planet, but someone could use it. And just subscribing and sharing the video can help out a lot. Uh, thank you so much. I will stick around, and hopefully I can update you guys on what goes on Monday. Have a great day, guys.